Okay. Happy Monday, December 6th. Um, I took a break yesterday for many readings because I was needing the rest from a whole week of, of doing it, a whole week of diligence, diligence um, on top of regular life stuff. Um, but I had a good day. I made some green curry and I found some clothes that I thought I lost and I, I hate losing things with a passion. Um, and I usually find that the things that are lost in my life um, are never lost forever. They always, um, they're just misplaced. And I was right, so I found, I found my clothes. Oh, this sweater being one of them. Like my, my fitness clothes that I bought this year for for that. So I hope you had a good weekend. Starting off the new week. Let's see what we have working for us. Hmm. Don't let your past hold you back, South Node. Which is pretty auspicious. So the North Node and South Node are mathematical points on the moon that <laughs> every 18 months or so, 18 to 24 months, they like shift into the next sign, always in like the retrograde. So if it was just in Gemini, the North, if North Node was just in Gemini, then now it's moving into Taurus. Um, let me see here. Where is it? My wheel. Yes, it was Gemini, Sag, and now it's Taurus, Scorpio. So. Wow. Mm hmm. If the last two years or so have been about evaluation of our beliefs, Taurus is now asking it to um, take take action on those those found things, but in a way that creates stability. Don't let your past hold your hold you back, South Node. As in, don't do things the way you've always done them. It's a new era now. We've, as they say. Entered the portal and exited the portal, the eclipse portal of this weekend. If you feel different, it could be why. Times they are a changing. Have faith in your dreams, waxing crescent moon. Hmm. Have faith in your dreams showed up recently, too. Don't let pride get in your way. So if this is about, if this is about wanting to move forward or enter this energy of like starting something new, um, don't look at the past and don't, don't carry in your heart, right? Cause Leo is the heart space. It's like your heart chakra. Don't that thing you carry in your heart about the past, I don't know, judgments or you know, our, our egos as well, like you're, it, I see sort of here that you're, um, you're in your own way a little bit. Hmm. Don't let pride get in your way. No, I did not fix the light yet. And that's fine. Wheel of Fortune, Cycles, Patterns, Six of Wands, Victory, Full, Sun. This is a new, let's see what's underneath, Winter Hibernation. Mm. 
So what's underneath is that someone wants to stay in this cycle. Someone wants to stay in a, in a past cycle, yet the Wheel of Fortune is here, and then there's victory here. There's almost like you are being forced into, some th into a new life, whether you like it or not. So you can go kicking and screaming, or you can take this opportunity. Yeah, it's the Ten of Cups that wants to come in. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, the Chariot. There's an opportunity coming for graduation. Graduation here. Um, quarter moon, shooting star. Oh my goodness, Ten of Swords. Wow, nope, some cards fell and then revealed the Ace of Cups. I mean, I have shit, the Ace of Swords. Ah, it's almost like someone doesn't want to see the truth of the situation. Like, someone's not really willing to move forward. Um, even though there's all these really good things happening. There's, like, really good things coming on the horizon. The pentacle, the ace of pentacles, ten of cups, which is, like, emotional fulfillment. Your dreams. Feeling really happy. And what came out here after the shooting star was the ten of swords. The end of some destructive cycle someone's got to get out of their head about something and really just feel <clears throat> someone's got to feel this way forward more in the attitude of gratitude and less ego less ego more gratitude that's what this is saying you see that the leo card don't let pride get in your way. Full moon Leo. This is a time to watch what you say. Like, choose your words carefully. Like, only say what you mean. And don't repress your dreams. Because look, shooting stars here, ten of cups, uh, the pentacle, the ace of pentacles, which is sort of like this golden opportunity, some kind of opportunity to move forward on your dreams is coming. This is all in the present. This all came out in the present. Well, shooting star was the future, actually. But recent future. It's almost like make a wish to, to see beyond, to make a wish to end this destructive cycle. Set your intentions on ending some sort of cycle. Um, allow your mind to move forward with the rest of your <laughs> elements into the future. I, he I see here, so there's six of wands, ten of cups, ace of, these are all the elements. All really positive sort of symbols here for wands, cups, pentacles, and then you have the ten of swords, which uh, this is actually a really good card, but it just says that this is because it's in the near future as well. It means it has not happened yet. So this is where you can focus some energy into having gratitude and making wishes on stars to, oops, to move past this cognitive dissonance, cognitive dysfunction or something like that. Um, and then in the past we have oh, the six of wands, which is like, it is the victory card, but it is sort of about like acknowledgement, like get becoming acknowledged or acknowledging something. And the wands are the fire, the inspiration. So maybe something in the recent past has come to surface if there's a cycle or a pattern, someone has successfully seen the pattern and now, and, and then had started a new journey, a new way of being. The way I like to think about the fool is that the fool can, <laughs> the fool is naive, but the fool also moves in life in such a way that <clears throat> they don't have any of the same constraints um, 
none of the none of the same constraints of their day to day life. It's almost for me. I I think about it as like the phenomena of travel, <clears throat> where every day you wake up somewhere different, and so you have you're filled with this this passion, this inspiration to go see things, meet people, try. There's like an appreciation, a new appreciation for life, truly. And that's the opportunity. Something, something to try something new. Try something new. Try some. Try doing something differently. There you go. The the pentacles here, and then the chariot. This is this is Cancer. This is the only. This is the only um, zodiac I see outside of. Uh, you know, full moon Leo in the moonology deck. Mm, let's see what other messages come from the from the moon deck because there's with these cards there's a lot of ways to sometimes they have a lot of different messages so let's see south note i release the past a relationship is karmic and has played out across many lifetimes your attraction to someone may be verging on the obsessive just because you can do something doesn't mean you should um, the south node is the karmic astrological point that reminds us of the well-known phrase, if you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always got. Yes. It's like I said. So the thing about south node and north node then, south node allegedly is where you come from. It's your past life. It's what you bring with you into this life. So my south node is actually in Cancer, which is interesting that Cancer is showing up. And my north node is in uh, Capricorn. So, <laughs> it's true. You know, you can look up all the meanings of what does it mean if your south node is in Cancer or where your south node is? You can look all that stuff up online. You just need to know um, your birth chart and like the details of that. So this is about becoming, not hibernating. This is, this is the winter card of this, this deck, which is very pretty. It is very nice. It's about spending time with loved ones, caring, cherishing. Honestly, it feels a lot like the energy of south node Cancer. Right? But, like, don't get stuck in that. Don't get stuck in nurturing mode without taking any action or, you know, nurturing your leadership. There is a new cycle here. It's asking you to step out of this past cycle. Um, hibernation. Mm-hmm. See how there's a crescent moon on this card? And the crescent moon symbolizing a time to build oneself up, build, building up self-confidence. Okay. Waxing crescent moon. Let's look at what the other one might say. Oh, I don't know if I finished that thought. So the north node then is like your, your mission, your purpose, what you're here to do, supposedly. Um, so yeah, I, you, should, you should just go look all that stuff up because you might find some interesting things out about yourself. Waxing crescent moon, here we go. Have faith in your dreams. I am focused on what I want. Just because you can't see your dreams, it doesn't mean they're not manifesting. Don't look back, stay focused on moving forwards. There's that message again, don't go back. Be patient as events unfold. Hmm. The Wheel of Fortune is here in the past, so that might have indicated maybe some waiting, some waiting for things to, like, dig a little deeper to find more courage. Yeah, see, there's that, there's that nurturing self-confidence. Uh, when you pull this card, it suggests you need to really pursue your dreams. It's the time to put your foot down hard as you chase your goals. That's chariot energy. Putting it down, laying it down going for it because what you want here is the ace of pentacles and the ten of cups um ace of pentacles being like this new opportunity this golden opportunity to go for what really fulfills you that is your dream that's what's that's what's here 
There's a reason to be hopeful for every positive outcome to the situation you're asking about. Don't give up. Take, if you can't take practical steps, spend time meditating on the question you're asking about and allow your higher self to download information to you about what your next best step is. So maybe that's why there's this hibernation underneath. Like it's not, it's not totally stagnant. It's, it's maybe somebody here wanting to, is really focusing very intensely. <laughs> good, 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 good. Full moon, uh, Leo. Don't let pride get in your way. Be magnificent without being plain too much. Self-esteem is good, vanity is not. Everyone is equally important. Creative urges should be followed. Work some magic. A friendship may be ending now. Yeah, see, watch what you say. People might think you say what you mean. You mean what you say. Um, there is a need to end a deadlock that has developed. More love and thoughts for the greater good are the solution to this dilemma. If you've not been doing as you would be done by lately, this is the time to find balance between your own needs and the needs of the people around you. This will help all of your relationships. Mm hmm. So, as you work towards your dreams, don't trample others. Be be conscientious of, you know, the waves you make. Oh man, I'm, this was like a, a metaphor for another situation last week where it's like some people are such train wrecks. Um, <laughs> and I say that with love, like some people just sort of invite chaos into their life and, and sometimes just being too close to them uh, really affects us like it really affects me to be around sort of chaotic energetic people because uh, I'll just I'll absorb it and I get sort of frustrated um, but when it comes to I guess work specifically like what are you gonna do like you if you're if you're in a situation where your coworker is a certain way and you have to see them and work with them every day there is a certain distance to set yourself from. So, but like, don't get like pride get in your way. This, I'm seeing this as the other person um, in, in this metaphor that I'm describing. Like if, if I'm the one describing a situation dealing with um, someone who doesn't really see how their actions are affecting others, um, not checking in, you ever get a phone call and, and the first thing they someone tell, talks to you about is like they're getting right into some work or they're getting right into the issue without even saying like, hey, how are you? That's the thing. Don't let pride get in your way. Like, take care. Be, be, be super conscious. Be aware of what you're doing. The energy that you're putting out and do onto others as you would be done by. That's not a warning. Okay, maybe it is a warning? The light. <laughs> okay, it is a warning. Uh, but it's not meant to deter you from moving forward and going after your dreams. If anything, this is, I'd, you know, very, very soon, if not right now, you are taking action on your dream in some way. And if you're not, then you are meditating on this. You're meditating on some sort of way forward. Yeah, just make sure you check in with people before you start making waves. Oh yeah, so the, this, the situation I was describing of like, if there's if chaotic people make waves and you have to sort of like be in their wake like very often, um, then I make the analogy of like, I need to create some distance from you so that I can just sort of ride the, the smaller waves. Like we can still coexist and, you know, I'm grateful to have you in my life. Uh, but in limited bursts of, of time or something. Um, take care of yourself. Don't, don't give all of your energy away. There, there's messages here to 
there, if you're trying to break yourself free from something in the past, you're going to need all of your energy to snap that cord. And you'll be propelled into the future. Just be ready to let go and have all the faith. Okay. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a good Monday. I'm going to go eat some breakfast. Bye.